What's good, YouTube? It is Jay Sai, and I am bringing you the hotspot glitch for 2K18. Now, I don't know if everybody needs your hotspots because let me tell y'all first of all, if you're a park player, hotspots do not matter in park. Your hotspots from your career do not carry over. However, if you are a pro am player, if you're a Team Pro-Am player, more importantly, but a walk-on Pro-Am player as well. Um, hot spots do carry over to the Pro-Am, and it's very important. So let me show y'all how I did it. Now, first of all, you'll see in the background while I'm talking, I did um, sim all the way to the playoffs. And if you saw in the beginning, you could see that I had a couple of hot spots. I had like one in the front or two in the front and two in the back. Uh, behind the three-pointer, um, two middies and two uh, three-point spots. But uh, if you guys are perfectionists like me, you guys got to have all them hot spots, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, so the first thing you got to do is you got to uh, simulate. Um, there's two ways to do this, really. All right, the, the first way, if you want to just get, like, you know, your main hot spots or whatever, you ain't real concerned, you want to get your main hot spots, just simulate straight to the playoffs, dog. Uh, you ain't going to lose any um, story from my career or none of that. You ain't got to worry about none of that. Just simulate straight to the career and go ahead and uh, or straight to the playoffs. Sorry. And go ahead and make sure that you play your first playoff game. Now, if you don't want to play your playoff game or whatever, you got to you can do the one minute quarter glitch or whatever you want to do. You can foul out. It don't matter. But you got to make sure that you get into that first playoff game um, because you have to actually play a game in order for it to um in order for the game to realize that you're uh actually playing and then the hot spots will carry over uh but nonetheless um the, the other way is is you can simulate a couple of games here and a couple of games there and keep checking your uh shot chart um anything above a uh 47 um, with over a hundred shots in one particular spot, um, in the graph is considered a high zone. So, uh, you can go ahead and it updates in real time. So if you're taking shots or whatever in game, you can check it, check your graphs, check your high zones, whatever, and then, you know, shoot from that area if you want to try to make that one specifically. But nonetheless, you can just simulate through the games and then just keep checking your hot chart. When you got the, uh, the hot zones that you want from your, um, from your shot chart, uh, you want to play that game and either play it and do, you know, well, whatever, and, and, and with uh, your content, uh, with the way you're shooting and shit like that. Um, or you can just foul out. You ain't got to play. Just go ahead, foul out, and then, uh, you know what I mean? Don't worry about it. Now, you'll keep your, you'll keep your hot zones uh, because it's for the year. But if you play past the playoffs, you will lose your hot zone because it only keeps it for the current season. Alright, but um, that is pretty much going to be it for me, y'all. Uh, I hope you guys appreciated the video. I hope I helped y'all out. Make sure you smash that like and sub button for me. And I am going to keep bringing these glitches to you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.